Hi, my name is Luisiano from Multimedia GDL, and I'm here to talk about your work of considering it not so deeply this ballet that is presenting in the city of Guadalajara. Which moment of your life did you choose dancing as a way of, ex of expressing yourself? I think when I was about five years old, I went to the movies with my grandmother, which was a long time ago. And I saw this wonderful movie full of dancing and music. And it was a movie called Oklahoma. And um, it was choreographed by Agnes DeMille. And I was only five years old. And I went home after that movie and I started imitating the dances that I saw on the, on the, on the screen. And I didn't, I just loved it. So I just pursued it all the way. I mean, in my academic years and my academic degrees and, you know, both academic degrees in higher education um, and my MFA and my graduate work all the way through. So I've never really, it's part of me. It's part of my nature. It's part of who I am. It's part of what I do. It's part of only a part though. It's not the whole me. But anyway, that's when I started um, knowing that I really loved it because it made me feel good. It was fun and it was interesting. It's interesting how you take uh, that picture of Oklahoma that is, is also a form of art to perform your personal art. Given the influence of Shakespeare's work on considering not so deeply, where did the inspiration for the choreographies come up? I started getting in, interested, really interested into Shakespeare's work um, when I dug into the fact that he was giving women a voice back in the 13, 1400s when they didn't have a voice. He was bringing, he was really finding the, the importance of the, the female voice in power, in dignity, in equality when there really wasn't. He was giving women a voice in his works such as Macbeth, Lady Macbeth, even though Lady Macbeth was a brutal character, um, she was very powerful. And at the time, and is still today, it is not popular to be a very powerful woman. Shakespeare was also um, disco or uncovering gender equality, for example. Um, the character Puck in A Midsummer Night's Dream, Shakespeare doesn't say whether Puck was male or female, but we usually see Puck as a male character. Why? So I'm looking at diversity issues. I'm looking at gender issues. I'm looking at equality. Um, and so Shakespeare was writing about all of this 500 years ago, and we're still not listening. We're still not really paying attention. And so I'm hoping that um, through great dancing, great music, a lot of fun, that people will also think a little bit about this. What Shakespeare was saying and what we still need to uncover, unpack today. What are some of your personal experiences that said it's a part of you in this ballet? I think um, all these characters are a part of me. Because in order for me to extract and develop the persona of the character through dance, I have to become that character. And I tap into what drives me, what that character must be thinking and how that character must be feeling in that situation because it's not an external, I'm not just doing pirouettes and I'm not just doing gymnastics. It's coming from an internal, from an underneath. I'm really excavating that character. And in order for me to find that, I have to find myself in the character. So I have to say that um, with all the characters I've portrayed in this, in this concert, I've put myself in there as well. I totally agree with this. Um, I think that you should write from experience 
and you cannot write about anything that you cannot know about. Um, what would you like to say about your, the dates, the tickets? How will the shows uh, come to to Guadalajara? Well, I I I, I think I will let um, Juan Carlos talk about the dates and the tickets, but. Guadalajara, I'm very excited and thrilled to be in Guadalajara because I know about Guadalajara as a um, historical, um, diverse cultural city. Tickets are on, on sale at uh, guayalteatro.com uh, uh, and, uh, on, and uh, uh, at a box office. And so the, um, the shows are April 29th at eight o'clock in the evening and April 30th at seven o'clock in the evening at the Foro de Arte y Cultura. And that'll be all. Thank you for your time. And we are very excited to have you at Guadalajara. We wish you the best and thank you very much. Thank you.